What's up, everybody? Uh, we are here coming at you on a momentous occasion. A lot of the winter anime has started this year, mm. and I'm very excited. I will say, guys, I've already found two animes that were not on my list. Oh. That I found, and we're going to be talking about that next week. And by that, I mean our list of what we're going to watch for the winter 2021 or 2022, sorry, season. Um, but yeah, I found two that I did not have on my radar, but I just stumbled upon them because Twitter clips and Twitter got me. And uh, they were really good. It was actually called uh, Orient, and I forget the other one that I found. But uh, overall, I was very impressed with the two animes that I ended up watching, and I'm hooked. Like, I'm in there. Besides, like, the obvious, you know, Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, and, uh, you know, other shows that are continuing. But, oh, it's called The Strongest Sage of Disqualified Crest. You like that one? Oh, my I God. Did. Of course you like that one. I haven't heard I of did. it. Yeah. So is this the first the first episodes are out? Okay. Yeah, it's there's a there's a lot of first episodes that are out. Yeah. Like, okay. Um I have about five that I'm liking right now. Oh wow. That's a really? lot. Yeah. It's yeah, like when I was looking over the list like of what's gonna be like this season's anime, a lot of it I was like, man, I don't know. I felt like I was only gonna enjoy Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan. And like and these shows are surprising me. And they're pretty Ooh. some really cool stuff that's going on. Yeah, like there's this one, just this one that, that really caught me off guard, where it's kind of like a, it's a comedy, but it's like a workplace comedy almost, but it's really wacky and silly. Where it's it's set like in a villain's lair, like um, like you know how like the Power Rangers, but it's like the bad guys of the Power Rangers, you know, mm-hmm. like the, uh, like the, um, like the, like yeah, like they they have like there's like the leader, and then then there's there's like different types of like departments and like we follow the department that creates the monsters to fight the power rangers and shit like that it's pretty silly it's is pretty it good stuff. miss kuroitsu from the yes. monster development team yes or yeah i like yeah, that, I was one. At that one too i was kind of i was kind of interested in that one i like that one it was pretty fun there's some pretty good stuff in there i'm not i'm not gonna go into full mm-hmm. uh full talk about it because we're gonna talk about that next week but yeah there's a lot of stuff that like really caught me off guard a lot of stuff that i didn't think i was gonna like and i like so okay. Interesting. Cause I think, like, for Pretty. me, I, I looked at the list very briefly, and so far, the only ones I'm just, yeah, excited about are Demon Slayer and um, Attack on Titan. So I have to go through the list and see what else I might potentially like. Yeah, like, I just started watching what was out there because, mm-hmm. like, yeah. the, the list wasn't really convincing me at all. So I think a lot of the stuff came out, what, like, Friday, right? Like, this past Friday? A, a lot, lot of, of it came out Friday and Saturday, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, like, we are literally just going into the winter season, which is dope. So that's why you guys will get it next week. Uh, once we've seen a lot of the stuff that's come out and we kind of have our, our good first impressions too, which would be dope to talk about. But uh, yeah, I mean, winter 2021 is already starting to, to hit hard and we like that. We're very excited for it. But besides that, I mean, Rafa kind of dabbled already in it, but Renee, oh, 2020, I'm a bad. I just keep... <laughs> It's the beginning of the year. It happens. It's a transition, right? Yeah. It's so weird. Um, it's so weird. <laughs> it is so weird. Um, I can't wait for February 22nd of 2022. February 22nd, 2022. Yeah, so right. two, yeah. two, two, two. No, we two. get it. Just, I know, yeah. but is something coming out? No, I'm just No. Oh. Actually, yeah, something is dropping that day. I forget what. It was something I was excited for, but I forget what it was. Oh, okay, cool. Um, it's like a video game or something. I forget. But, oh, wow. Nice. Uh, but yeah, so besides that, guys, I mean... I, you know, I, Rafa kind of talked about it, but Renee, uh, what it ha- what has your anime journey been like um, this past week? For this past week, so I haven't had a chance yet to like get into the winter stuff because um, I've currently been watching um, some of the Attack on Titan OAD, the OADs, and then um, I got hooked on Haiku, which was a uh, recommendation from you, Hector, last time. I'm now like on episode twelve. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really liking it. So that's all I've been like watching. And Very then of course, cool. what we have to watch for today. So yeah, I'm loving okay. it. It's, it's it's amazing. Yeah, no, uh, top anime. I've been uh, wanting to rewatch it to be <laughs> honest. So I think I might, um, but yeah, if you guys are listening to us. Oh, actually. So I got a recommendation from a friend of ours, Ooh. Uh, both my, myself and, and Rafa saying that we should probably do all of our shout outs at the beginning of the pod. So we're going to do that. Guys, make sure to check us out on all of our links in the description down below. But also just know that we stream on Twitch. The three of us actually now it's the entirety of Geek Jar. Very cool to say that now. Uh, myself, 
Rafa, Renee, Alex, and John. We all stream on Switch, so definitely go check us out. Um, everything will be in the description down below, as well as Renee's super dope shop. Renee, give us a little bit more about that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, for those who didn't know, uh, me and Alex, we actually uh, started an Etsy shop last year, and we just had this idea to, like, do, like, art and gaming-inspired mugs. Um, I know we, we haven't come up with anything new, but trust me, we are working on stuff for the for the new year, so definitely check us out if you haven't. Artists and Gamer Shop. There you go. And Rafa, where can they watch all of our stuff that we do on Geek Our Podcast? <clears throat> So, uh, if you enjoy this podcast here, the Pencil Boxcast, and you want to hear some other stuff that we do, go ahead and check out uh, the Plain Pod, where we talk about everything video games, and the Panel Pals, everything that has to do with comic books. Um, those are on Geek Jar Podcast here on YouTube. We're already on that page. Uh, and Geek Jar Podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and Facebook Podcasts. So all of all of those uh, pages, you can find out all the other stuff that we do on here, all the other podcasts that we do. So you can go check it out and have a good time with them and some good stuff on there. Yeah, yeah. and we oh. love to see that. Now, uh, that being said, guys, like he said, you can find us here. You can also find us on anchor.com where we are associated with Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and any other of the podcast links that are a part of anchor.com. So and make sure to check us out. And from there, we are on episode 34 of the Bento Box Cast, guys. We are moving and grooving into the new year. 2022 is our and your year. So make sure to make the best out of it. And let's enjoy the anime that's coming out because this is going to be a banger of a year for anime. I am so excited. And yeah, we might as well just jump right into it because we've gotten some dope news within the anime world. Um, one that I feel like Rafa may be a little excited for. Um, and that is that the... Is it a comic book that came out first? Or is it the game that came out first? It's a comic book. It's okay. originally started as a comic book. Uh, then it went into the movie and the game. Well, there you go. The original... Oh. Uh, originally a comic book, now going into the anime world. Netflix is producing a Scott Pilgrim versus the world anime, and it's going to be really dope. I'm glad they're not going the live action route uh, because oh, yeah. we've seen how we that have the movie. went. Mm. Oh. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Wait, uh, you don't like the, the movie? Oh, no, I, I like it. About... Oh. Yeah, I like it, but I'm just glad they're not going the live action route again, where it's just like, like we've already another... done that once. Right. Uh, I mean, Cowboy Bebop didn't exactly hit, but I mean, maybe maybe this could have hit. I don't know. That's a, that's another. Well, it's reason. not needed. You already have the movie. It's not so needed. Yeah, true. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, there's that, but uh, I mean, it's super dope that they're going into an anime with it. Uh, I mean, it's kind of weird that they're calling it an anime at this point. I would kind of think it's like a cartoon because isn't it like a U.S. made comic, Rafa? Well, it's it's from uh, it's it's a Western comic. It's from uh, Canada. The the, the writers oh. from Canada. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's so, pretty cool. But I mean, yeah. it's cool that they're going the anime route, making this into something that people can um, digest that way. Because I mean, let's be honest, anime is kind of getting really big in popularity right now, mm -hmm. regardless of what genre it is or whatever thing like that. So um, I'm excited for it. And speaking on the the spread of anime, one cool place that has recently came back. Well, not recently. It's been like about a few years now, but. Toonami is set to debut new shows every week for the next month or so, and it's starting with Assassination Classroom Season 2 tonight, which is very, very cool. Uh, the official Facebook page announced that on Friday this past week, uh, the programming block will start airing the second season of the Assassination Classroom anime, and it's going to be starting, as of us recording, at Sunday at 12 30 in the morning it airs two episodes of the show and it's going to be super dope i it's going to include blade runner black lotus naruto shippuden and cowboy bebop some classics as well as some new anime being aired for those to watch um i absolutely love assassination classroom it is a dope anime it had some awesome awesome uh action scenes some cool plot twists here and there and um i mean i'm just glad they're rerunning the classics like naruto shippuden cowboy bebop mm -hmm. um i never watched blade runner black lotus um, I don't know if Rafa ever has or you, Renee, but no, um, <clears throat> it's a newer one, right? Like I think it came yeah, out like last it, year. It came out the, this past season. Mm -hmm. that just passed. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, true. We just I'm never looking at it right it. now, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have not watched it, but I think I think I've heard okay things about it. But regardless, I mean I'm super happy that like, you know, Toonami's doing the the thing it used to do when we were like growing up where like they would show all these animes and stuff. I mean truthfully that's where i started watching bleach um on like tsunami nice. and cartoon network and things like mm-hmm. that and like that's where i i think i also started watching the original run on arto off mm-hmm, of like same. cartoon network and tsunami so like um i think it's dope that they're kind of spreading their like you know their wings and doing more uh more anime stuff but i mean for those that you know don't exactly have like the crunch roll the funimation or or hulu netflix accounts that can you know access anime and things like that so that's really cool um i'm glad that they're jumping into things like that but I mean, hey, I'm excited for it. Man, speaking of Bleach, I'm so excited for Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. I, I'm i excited. So, like, I haven't... We've talked about it a little bit before, but, like, I've never... I've seen a few episodes of Bleach, um, probably when they were showing it, like... I don't know if it was Toonami or Adult Swim, one of those. But um, I wasn't into it then, but, like, when I saw the trailer for, like... There's a trailer art for... A trailer out for this, right? When mm-hmm. I saw the trailer, I'm like, man, this looks absolutely incredible, do I now have to watch the original Bleach in order to watch this arc this year? And I'm like, I probably do. Yeah, you I don't 100% know. <laughs> do. It's a Damn. lot. It's like, it's like I think maybe three to 400 episodes. However, oh. a lot of it's filler. So, okay. I mean, with uh, thank, thank the Lord that there are uh, lists out there that say, hey, skip this and do this, um, which that's, that's kind of the list that I'm following right now with what I'm watching. Um, I think I'm at around the 100 and something episode mark i forget exactly oh, nice. but um i am super happy re-watching this like probably one of the animes with the most iconic music in the background uh for it and i, I mean there's no way anybody can contest that um and yeah I'm, I'm just watching this is getting me super hyped for this because like it's such a leap it'll be 10 years from like the original mm-hmm. artwork that we got to like the crispy beautiful animation that we saw in the trailer that you were mm-hmm. mentioning like it's so dope i'm so excited um Rafa, I mean, I know you've probably watched Bleach, Bleach before, but like, are you gonna watch this new season? Uh, I I did watch Bleach. I actually was a pretty big big fan of Bleach back in the day, and I would watch it pretty much every week. You know, when the mm-hmm. episodes would come out and stuff like that. But I kind of fell off, just like with Naruto, uh, Shroop, and um, I don't remember exactly where I fell off, but mm-hmm. I know it's nowhere near um where the the I don't even know what's called the Thousand Blood War, or the hell it's called. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm nowhere near that. So, like, I fell off when, um, <clears throat> you know, like those the Hollow guys. I forgot their names, though, but they're the Espadas or whatever, because that's think, what they are. The guys that were like in Waco Mundo and shit like that. Yeah, right. Like they have like yeah. they, they have like holes in them, but like they're like super smart and they can talk and stuff. Yeah. There's the one with the blue hair that kind of turns into like a wolf dude. Yeah, yeah exactly. Type of thing. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so like I, uh, after that fight, he fights the other guy, like the quiet guy, right? Like, uh, Ichigo fights him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Like the guy with like, he has like, yeah, the, the guy that's like the, the bat or whatever, like the, it's, it's like green eyes or blue eyes or no, yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's green eyes. Yeah. It's green eyes. And he transforms into like a, a, like a giant bat with wings. I don't know if you got that far, but I started that fight and I think that's where I Ooh. dropped it. What a terrible place to drop it. <laughs> that fight is one I, of the most iconic, badass fights in Bleach. And you're just I, like, I, nah, I'm good. I'm going to bench it there. Like, I, I, it just seems that that's just the thing that I do. I just drop shows when they start getting good. I did that with Naruto. I did that with Attack on Titan. And I did that I did with, with Fire Force 2. Like, Fire <laughs> like right. one episode away from it getting good. Right. Oh, well, you, you also did that too, though. You I, did that, did that. I did that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't blame you on that one. But. Yeah, yeah I man. Know. I would highly suggest you guys to rewatch it. How far am I this. from? Am I am I pretty far? Still, You're like or? probably like halfway, halfway okay. to like finishing it, or at least being oh, caught up bad. to the point where you can do it. Yeah, it's it's not too bad. Halfway or like damn near halfway around there, mm-hmm. but it, it's not that bad, especially with like all the lists that are coming out saying like hey, you can skip. Like I remember at yeah. one point I was like reading through the list and it said I could skip around thir- uh, like fifteen to thirty episodes, and I'm like, oh, that that's is not a bad. Big ass jump. I'm like, all right, cool um uh, there's uh, episodes here and there where they're like yeah you can skip this episode but it's like one so it's like you can watch 39 skip 40 go to 41 and i'm just like that's kind of like a weird I might as well just watch 40 like it's whatever but uh yeah it, it, the list is cool though regardless i'm like super super like excited to watch this and, and really having a lot of fun the sword fights and everything like that is super amazing things like that so yeah i mean we have until what fall to catch up on that so we'll see yeah we'll see 
<laughs> I would like to we'll say I'll, I'll watch it, but I mean, I will There's see. just so much anime going on, and then the fact that we got to keep watching like every season. I mean, yeah, I mean, we'll see. For those that want to, those who don't, and, or, or whatever. There's just, there's just so much anime to there's consume as of late. So we're big chilling. Um, especially with Anime Swap. We have a bunch of stuff that we have to like watch too. But uh, if you guys are excited for Thousand Year Blood War arc, if you guys are excited for the Scott Pilgrim arc, or anything like that, especially if you do watch your anime from Toonami, then let us know. Let us know and put it in the description down below mm-hmm. or tweet at us about it. But I think what I'm going to do first is talk about the big release that we all, well, me and Renee watched. Um, we'll start with that and then kind of roll into Demon Slayer and then uh, Anime Swap. So Rafa has this not, is, well, hold this on. This is where I make my exit. This is where you make your exit, sort of, yeah. kind of. Guys, this is going to be full spoiler talk for Attack on Titan Season 4, Part 2, Episode 1, the final season. It is Season 4, right? I think I'm right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's um, so... This is full-on spoiler talk. Rafa has not cut up yet. He is doing his absolute best. This is his mission for next week to catch up so we can talk about it freely. But in the meantime, Rafa will deafen because we do record this on Discord while, you know, the Omarion variant is out there Uh and things like that. Um, And it's cold in Chicago, guys. It was like one degree the other day. Um, It was zero degrees the other day. Terrible. That's big, crazy, windy, you know, stuff like that. But uh, Rafa, feel free to deafen or whatever you got to do because me and Renee are going to we're going to dive right in and talk about this crazy shit. Bye. Bye, friend. I'll like, uh, just send me a know. message. I'll okay. do some shit like this or whatever to, to let you know that we're back. So okay. however you want to do this, it'll be, it'll be a little bit though, but I'll put it actually keep it on the Facebook chat. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Well, all right. I'll, I'll be, I'll just be here. Like, so. <laughs> you should watch some space. attack on Titan. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'll say the next episode. I'll do that. <laughs> well, all right. All well, right. I'm gonna wait for Rafa to do his thing, and all then, right. uh, cool. All right. So, Renee, what's up? What a fucking oh, episode! Oh god! <laughs> I was so excited watching this. Um, the way it just started off with like an absolute bang, like you know, man, I'm trying to remember. Like, I just keep thinking of like the crazy. So I think we just recap with like, you know, Gabi and uh, Peak or Pike. I forgot. I think it's Peak. Peck. 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 There you go, Peck. Mm-hmm. Um, and and you know, just them discussing about how like you know, Gabby's like, would you actually betray our 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 allies and things like that? Or what is it, Marine or whatever the name of uh, of the other island is? I think it might be Marine. Mar- uh, Marley. That's the one. <laughs> uh, uh, Marley. Yeah, and then. She's like, of course. I said, like, I don't even care for Marley. Like, I, I'm all. I only care for the comrades that we like, you know, fight with and things like that. And then I don't know where you just see all these airships come in. And I mean, we kind of knew because we saw Reiner discussing like, hey, we have to think kind of like Aaron. We gotta uh, try to jump on them, at, you know, and surprise them and, and attack them. And they think that we're gonna have like four to five months to rebuild, find leadership, but uh, mm-hmm. we just have to do the yeah. unthinkable on their end and just and just kind of jump them. Um, and I was yep. so happy to see just just the the sheer destruction happening, the the Titan fights, um, seeing Aaron in action, and how you know Reiner and everybody else kept saying, you know, he's not enough. One v one v three, one v an army isn't enough, and uh, he was kind of getting his ass beat. I'm uh, not gonna lie. Yeah, I my at that point I was like Aaron, like you should have listened to it um yelena i think is her name because she was telling him hey man like you said hector like you're going up against the cart titan you're going against the armor titan and um the jaw titan you even though you ha- like we know that aaron at this point has like the warhammer abilities um he's like the attack titan and the founding titan so we know he's super powerful but i mean Aaron is very stubborn and very stuck in his ways. And I'm like, no matter how powerful he is, he's just not mentally like he he thinks too much with his emotions. And I feel like he kind of mm-hmm. just jumped the gun and just went for it. Like, I'm not going to listen to you, Alina. I'm going to go and I'm going to fight Reiner because you know what? They came to, dist- you know, they broke through the walls. It's Reiner's fault that my mom got eaten. Like he has so much. He wants revenge. And we know that. Mm-hmm. But I don't think at this moment and it, right now he's being the smartest you know um Mm -hmm. so yeah he was getting he was getting fucked up and i don't know if that's (laughs) part of his plan or not 
but it's not looking too good. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious to see what we see next. Um, we know Zeke is going to make an appearance at mm-hmm. some point. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it was just I was yelling just the whole time because it's been a whole year since we've seen this, and it starts off where we we are, where we left off last season or part one, and. You know, even seeing the first scene where Hanj is like holding Levi. Yes. It, oh, it hurts my heart every time. Um, we know that Levi uh had Zeke in prison or like he was in the cart and what and Zeke set one of the spears to go off and mm-hmm. it was a big old explosion, literally ki- almost killing Levi and Zeke. Um, and even Hanj was like, Oh yeah, Levi's dead. But Hector, I don't know if he's really dead. Like, <laughs> I, I don't think he is, because like, remember how? Uh, I mean, I hate that character. The the guy behind her, um, Flock. The guy with like the yeah, the orange Flock. hair. Absolutely mm-hmm. hate him. Absolutely hate that character. Just loathe him. Detest him. I hope he uh, does not live towards the end. Yeah, I know, kind of, <laughs> kind of morbid, but you know, I just don't like him. Uh, let's see. So like, he's like, yo, I know how to like test the pulse, like. Let me see his body real quick. And that's how I kind of knew that, like, he was alive. Um, yeah. But he looked super he's, messed up. He's... I, does he even... I don't even know his if his body's intact. Like, is he missing... He's missing oh, limbs. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, he had a fight up against his own team where, like, you know, he... They drank the the uh, the wine or whatever that had uh, Zeke's blood, and that's how they were... Mm-hmm. They ingested, like, the ability to become Titans, and that's just straight from him. Um, and so... I mean, I, I remember at the end or towards the end of the last season, um, or the, at least the last part, he like transformed them all into Titans and he had a fight or Levi had to fight all of fight them all his and friends. essentially kill them. Yeah. Uh, and that like just was super, super fucked up on, on, on something that he had to do. He didn't want to. He respected him. And I think even at the end when he killed them, he like just kept looking at their human faces and just knowing like, damn, I had to do that. And then yeah. I think the. Yeah. And then like you said, you know, Zeke pulled the, the missile or whatever it was. And so that's where he like got all burned and like messed up but that's crazy like the fact that he's he lived even through all of that he, you know that's why levi best character in the show um and yeah and then we you know we see that that hanj and him like escape by jumping mm-hmm. into the river um i wouldn't be surprised if she got shot by like a bullet or you know her arm is grazed or something like that because they were they, they were, were unloading yeah. into that river um but yeah Until i mean that, that's super dope yeah mm-hmm. until zeke appeared um and then what else oh yeah and then the the rest of like uh aaron's friends uh mikasa and and the rest of them armin got uh released from their cages because uh you know they were being imprisoned because they were against aaron's uh orders and things like that mikasa still has like the last things that aaron said to her about being an ackerman and all that stuff Mm -hmm. in her head and she's still trying to like decide what what is right and what is wrong and what she doesn't you know believe in or whatever but um, I will say this episode like hit the ground running, and I'm I so it was, excited. It was good. I it it was really good. Like I knew it was gonna be good just because of how things ended in part one. So it was mm-hmm. just super awesome just to see the continuation. Um, and I, I was actually talking like I was watching this with Alex and everyone, and we were saying how Attack on Titan. This is a show where like you you have this attachment with all the characters like it's so hard to pick a side Mm -hmm. like you totally understand like Aaron where you know Aaron's side you understand like his friends Armin and Mikasa but then you also understand you know the people from Marley like Gabby and Falco like you kind of see where everyone's at and you kind of feel for everybody so it's like it's so you watch these fights and you're just like wait do I want Reiner to win do I want Aaron to win like it's so it's so hard to pick a side but it's super yeah, cool. I mean, <laughs> it's super dope. Yeah, because you're like you're um, technically emotionally you're being pulled like to like seven different directions of like whatever. Um, I will say though, fuck Abby. Yeah. Don't like you at all. I've never liked her from the beginning. Ever since you know she she killed Sasha, and Sasha was literally ultimately one of my favorites. Yeah. Rest in peace. Me too. <laughs> um, so there's that. Uh, I hate how panicky Connie is getting. Um, I just, yeah, I just don't like it when he, when that character kind of just, just gets all like. He's also uh, emotionally fragile. 
Um, yeah. Granted, he's been through a lot of shit. You know, he went through Sasha's death. They're yeah. Kind of betraying they're him, super like that. close. I get it. But, but I mean, yeah. Like I love how Armin is just, just so dead set on like just being calm. He's like, you know, let's listen to what they have to say. Listen to yeah. their side. And the fact that he ultimately for not necessarily forgave them, but like. He's like, I understand what the issue is or what the situation is, and he's kind of ready to go, ready for action. Um, and I mean, yeah, like, I will say my biggest worry for this anime is really two things. One, um, sticking the landing, because I know a lot of people weren't too happy about the uh, the manga ending. Oh, interesting. Um, so I want to see if they're going to switch it up completely or if they're going to add to some of it, um, because there people were saying that there was a lot of uh, a lot of plots and a lot of questions on finished like they didn't close it out in a in a great way for it to like feel like really uh, holistically as a as a story finished um mm. and then uh to how they're going to incorporate like more story building because like technically they still have to build more of like the background for like what all this is and things like that like like everybody's sides of the story and things like that so i want to see how this flows and i just hope it doesn't go into like a like they have every episode has to hit for this season for it to be like deemed as one of the like top i don't know three animes of all time yeah which it can okay. be i mean episode one was already 10 yeah, out of 10 already o- yeah all over it um but no i mean excited to see more um you know we obviously know zeke and Aaron are trying to meet um and now like a lot of people are preventing that from happening they want to caption Aaron um I thought one thing that was interesting was Armin like he he's a true friend to the end like he's having a hard time believing that Aaron is this like evil being and that he wants to follow through with this the whole euthaniz- euthanization plan of mm-hmm. am I saying that right um you so. said euthanization plan of Zeke's where like the whole their whole thing is like hey let's stop the Eldians from like you know birthing ch- children you know let's let's stop this from happening so there's like no more titans um Armin's having a hard time believing that that's what Aaron wants so I'm just curious to know I I want to know what I just want to see what's going to happen because we're at this point we're th- we're believing that Zeke and Aaron this is what they want but then is it really what Aaron wants, you know? So mm-hmm. I just kind of want to see that plan. I want to see what happens next, if that plan yeah. happens or if it doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited. Like I said, I I, I, yeah, I think you've read a little bit of, like, the ending of the manga because some stuff got spoiled for you and you had to, like, check some stuff out. I know everything that happened, so I'm just yeah, really excited do. to see what's going on. So, like... <laughs> I just love seeing like the characters' reactions. They're like, "Oh my god!" Like, oh yeah, I, it, it's just cool. For those of you that have read it, you know what I'm talking about. I just love seeing everything kind of play out um, and things like that. But that is our our mm-hmm. review of episode one. We're very excited for the rest of the season. We are are hopeful in that this is going to be a tremendous year and tremendous way to end off uh, such a such an iconic anime. But yes. uh, I mean, yeah. With that being said, I guess we just kind of bring in Rafa real quick. Let him know mm-hmm. that we're good to go. And uh, let's see if he if he sees the message. And I just this isn't a spoiler, but I just wanted to let you know that intro and that outro for part two absolutely banging. Do you really like the song? I don't. I don't like the opening. What's up, Rafa? I love I love the metal. I I was all for the. It was it went in. I was like, dude, this is super English. I like the one that like switched to Japanese lyrics, but but we're just talking about the opening. It was I a very was really metal, ba- like a metal heavy song. Is it better than the third season opening? Because no. the third season opening sucks. No. See, I have a biased opinion because no. I love every, I like every single opening. No, there. Really? I don't think I like, no, there's one where it's like super light. Like it's not, is the that third the third? One, the, the third that one. That's the one. one. Yeah, that's the worst one. This was yeah, way, 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 way better. The season four part one's intro was better than this one. I just and I kind of and I and I kind of did not like season four part one. I love. Season I don't. I just don't like the metal. The, the The visuals are dope. The closing is dope. It's both uh, le- or song and video. I just don't like the metal for this at no, all. I th- I thought it was cool. But I mean, hey. it got me hyped. We all have different opinions. <laughs> we all have different opinions, except for Rafa. Rafa just his opinions are <laughs> are everything. What? My opinions <laughs> are the best. But absolutely. 
think so. That being said, Ralph, I want to hear your opinion on the next <clears throat> show that we're going to be spoiling and getting in depth because holy shit, what an episode, guys. Demon Slayer episode six, the Entertainment District arc aired. We watched it. Wow, Sundays are going to be a great day to watch anime. And I, mm-hmm. I just realized that because AOT mm. and Demon Slayer come out. But Rafa, uh, now that you're back with us, tell us a description of what happened this episode. Uh, so it continues off uh, with uh, Tanjiro fighting the upper six demon. Um, and they're, they're going at it and, you know, Tanjo's still trying his best to fight off the demon. The, the demon, uh, pretty much becomes whole again. Cause like some of the, like parts of the demon was in like in that cave area with the, the rest of the gang, the rest of the guys. And it came back out of the hole. So she was, she became stronger. She kind of, in a sense, did like, like a little mini transformation, you know, her hair changed white, stuff like that. She, she got more veiny. Um, so she was stronger, she was faster, stuff like that. Um, so she she was giving Tanjiro a lot of more uh, difficulty for, for him to keep up. Um, and then Tanjiro kind of started with kind of reflecting on, on what was happening, thinking to himself, like, am I really able to do this? And still, you know, trying his best or whatever. And then he kind of... Um, and then funny enough, the, the, the six upper six demons start, you know, going to memories of, like... It wasn't her memories, it was memories from um the Michael Jackson demon. Um and we saw uh the flashback of um of him fighting Tanjiro's dad, where it looked like Tanjiro's dad, which was yeah, really, really cool. It did cool. look like him. I was yeah. convinced. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> so that was really cool to see that. So like it's cool to see like uh, that Tanjiro is somehow connected um with the with the main bad guy. That's really cool to see. Um so then, you know, Tanjiro starts kind of, he kind of like goes into like this, um, I don't even know how to call it, like this, 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 this state of mind where he's not really thinking, he's just kind of more like, he's kind of just like moving, uh, inst- like instantly or whatever. So like, he's not, like, he got to the point that he wasn't even breathing. Like, that's how he was mm-hmm. like in the zone of like fighting mm-hmm. against the, the upper six demon. Um, he got to the point that he was practic- he was pretty much going to kill her. Like he almost had her, but uh, right he had there. to breathe. He right yeah, <laughs> he just so needed mad. a little bit more of a swing. Yeah, he actually caught me by surprise when um, he did the first time he did swing and he cut her head off. Um, he saw that she had like the um, the sash, like it's still attaching her her, yeah. her head to her body, it's which ugly. is really cool to see. I thought it was like really cool. Like, hey, that's pretty impressive that she has like that oh yeah plan. she just looked gross she just looked- yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man that was just such a gross scene but um but then yeah like i said so he, he the second time he was able to do it um well he he almost had it but he he wasn't breathing so he ended up collapsing in front of the demon and the demon's like well time to kill you dog and then that's when uh nesuko right that's her name <laughs> yes yeah, so she comes in and then she starts fighting and like it's really cool. It's it's funny how like with with like uh, of course you can't do it with like the, with the demon slayer guys unless they want them dead. But with with Nesuko, they can clearly chop off her body parts left and right because she <laughs> lost like <laughs> she lost like a bunch of limbs. She even got cut in half at one point, oh, I think. Like, um, and mm-hmm. then she went like turbo demons, and she like was because like the the level the upper sixty was like yo, you're you're just. You're not even like full demon. You're like you're like a half demon. Like, yeah, you don't have your powers yet, or whatever. You can't do nothing about this. Like I'm gonna stomp you all easily, and that's when Nesuko turns it up and she like literally starts using like her demon abilities to like heal like instantly, mm-hmm. like at like upper level demon powers mm-hmm. and stuff. Like, that's what the main demon uh, lady said. That was really fucking cool. See, and and, and Nesuko is really gonna like. I feel like that's gonna be like the next episode. It's gonna be Nesuko versus the. Uh, the upper six demon, see what mm-hmm. Nesco could really do. Really, it's really cool when they, they give her her own like moments to shine. Like you don't get en- we don't get enough of Nesco in this in the show. So, um, and while that's going on, um, sparkly god, uh, annoying guy, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um, Inu- Inusuke. Well, that's the only guy is the only name I know. They're on their way to meet up with them, and that's the episode right there. Renee, go ahead. Talk to us. What'd you think? All right. So, (laughs) 
I would say so. The, the, okay, this episode was absolutely amazing. I cried yes. not because like I was sad of anything that was happening. It was just happy tears. I'm like, this is the action I've been waiting for. I thought this episode literally was top tier. It's probably my favorite episode so far in the season. Um, Rafa said it. You know, like we didn't we don't get enough of Nesco. Um, she's been asleep like this whole time. So I'm like, you know what? It explains why she's so badass because she's well rested. Um, and she, like just her transformation, like she started developing like those, like, um, like those vines started like appearing oh, yeah. on her body. Her, she started growing like a horn and I got, oh, yeah, I got horn, eerie yeah. vibes from my hero a mm. little bit, Oh yeah. <laughs> but she, the way she was just like, we rege- like, um, Am I saying that regenerating or whatever her body or yeah. like she mm. kept growing her parts very, very quickly. And for Daki to even recognize her like or say to her like, yo, you're super powerful. Like your powers are like absolutely <laughs> incredible. It's like, wait, what? Nesco? Um, so I, I was super stoked for that. But I, what was also cool about this episode was the fact that we uh, learned a little bit more about um, Tanjiro's like curse mark or his mark on his forehead because mm. I had a. I was like, it, every episode, it seemed like it was like growing almost. I'm like, what does that mean? Um, and there was a flashback where Rengoku's dad kind of talks about it, saying something that those that have the mark, I don't know if I'm like, if those who have the, yeah, the we're cur- like chosen. Yes. And yeah. that's what we were left to believe. But then Tanjiro was saying, you know, a lot of people think this thing, but in in reality, I, I got the mark because something happened with his brother. Like, I think he it was an accident. He That's how he got the mark. So he's like, I'm not the chosen one. Um, but I'm finding that really hard to believe. Um, I think there's something there. And, you know, Tanjiro just looked absolutely insane when he was fighting because he was cut. He was injured. And then when he entered that state where he wasn't breathing, like he had like blood in his like pupils and he just looked insane. Um, but he, he killed it. I mean, just the way he was moving, it was absolutely incredible. This whole fight sequence I thought was just beautiful to just see, um, you know, and I mean, yeah, I mean, I, Rafa had said it too, but I think that flashback was of Tanjiro's dad. It looked like him. They had the same mark. So I'm under the impression it is. Um, but I guess we just have to wait and see if they reveal more, but no, um, Overall, an amazing episode. It was just top tier. I could be wrong, but I think I remember uh, in one of like the previous seasons where like his his mark on his forehead changed to what it looks like now. Like it, it was, used to be something different, and then it, like transformed into something into what it looks. It like It was now. like a yeah. scab. It almost looked like a like a burn. You know when you burn yourself and like the scab comes off and it's just like lighter skin. Like I don't. Mm-hmm. That's how it looked like before, and then it got darker, like way darker in color, like a birthmark. Yeah. So, okay yeah. yeah so like clearly it's not what he thinks it is yeah. like there, he has to have some kind of connection to the chosen you know um what is it called like the sun people sorry the sun like, breathing there it is sun but, breathing, um, yeah yeah the sun breathing god technique and stuff like that but um besides that you guys might have heard the motorcycle i don't know but uh <laughs> no okay cool uh but yeah i mean it's like it was super dope uh i don't know if you guys also noticed too but like nezuko like when she went into that like super demon art form or whatever she was um her like her body actually physically like changed she kind of like uh looked like she got a little older i don't know if it was just like um she just looks full. Kinda, yeah she looks mm-hmm. like mega swole but like i know she can uh alter her body because like she's gone into that mega like meaty form where she's like buff mm-hmm. and then she also like a, a like a child sized demon so like that's super dope but like this form is a lot different than the rest um just because of the, the horn the the vines that grow around her body and things like mm-hmm. that so like she it looked like she kind of like aged to like a, an adult form of herself which is kind of cool interesting um mm-hmm. but i mean yeah like this episode of super dope the action is finally here which is what we wanted um and i just i honestly just can't wait to see tengen get into action uh because i do think that like it's gonna be coming real soon and the fact that her hair changed uh uh, Doki is hair changed and things like that like it's building up to be what we wanted and 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 what we expect out of demon slayer like the the fun stuff was cool at the beginning now give us the action give us the the world building while we're mid fight and things like that like i'm in there i'm i'm super excited for this oh yeah absolutely beautiful yeah um well 
we're excited for episode seven. That is episode six. Uh, I mean, we're just mega fans of the show, to be honest. The, the what else can we say? We're just very happy that we're at this point now. Mm-hmm. Um, but moving on, it is time to jump into our last segment of the show. It's going to be anime swap and. With this anime swap, we have a reaction to Rafa's recommendation, which was Super Crooks uh, from last week's episode. Um, Renee, what did you think of the show? Because, I mean, I kind of mentioned I have mixed reviews, but I would love to hear what you thought of Super Crooks. Um, so, okay. I know, so I know Rafa really liked the show. You ended up binging yeah. it, right? So I was like, yeah. okay, like, and, you know, you also said last, last pod, like, it hasn't, you don't really get to binge stuff like that nowadays. So like the fact when you said like, Oh, I binged the crap out of the show. I'm like, oh, okay. Like it must be really good. So <laughs> I, uh, I watched it with Alex and I, it's not for me. And uh, really? Alex, yeah, it's not for me. And Alex wasn't a fan either. Um, the premise was interesting like you know like here's this like aspiring hero like who finds out that he has this you know superpower of like you know controlling electricity and stuff and i would say like one of my favorite moments or probably the favorite my favorite moment was when he was trying to show off like his power and like uh he ended up like falling into the pool and like electrocuting everybody that was pretty darn cool like i wanted that to happen if and if i didn't if that didn't happen I probably wouldn't even have continued watching. Um, but it happened, and I was like, oh, cool. And then, like, it fast-forwards to him in the future, and he's grown up, and he was in, in prison. And I just... I don't... It just... I wasn't feeling it. Like, I don't know if it was just not enough action, and it was just, like... There was a lot of dialogue, I feel like, for the first two mm-hmm. episodes. And then I feel like the third episode is when you actually got more of the action um, when they're, you know, they're sending all the heroes to go after him and his um, his squad. And like even the heroes themselves weren't like super cool. Like, you know, you had the guy who can turn into like a rubber ball. And I just thought he was like really annoying and stupid. Um, But I just and the art style was very different, very unique. It didn't feel like an anime it felt more like a like a cartoon um Mm -hmm. which is no problems with that but it was just it was just different um i i just i wasn't feeling it (laughs) dang yeah it gets really really good it's like uh i don't know it's there is a lot of dialogue but it's 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 not like a typical superhero story because it's um it deals with a heist pretty much it's like the main focus there's a heist Mm. that happens that's like the main plot, but right. Yeah. Ah, sorry, Rafa. I had hopes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, it was semi similar to me too. Like, I, I I enjoyed when like it it started off really slow for me, and then once he like kind of renaissance when he fell into the pool, I was like, okay, <laughs> not what I was expecting. I was like, all right, uh, I, I take it back. Maybe I should have I shouldn't have jumped the gun there. Uh, but I mean, from there, it was just like, I don't know, like the seeing the different characters, seeing Bolt um, or, or the the main villain, you know, in the second episode or not the villain, but you know what I'm talking about, the, the, the pretty guy with the with the hair, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, once seeing him and seeing like the the what is the name of the the prison? I forget. There, there was like a specific name there, but like just seeing everything kind of like go down as like the episodes were going through. I was just like, like, where what is supposed to hook me here? And like nothing ever really like landed for me, so I wasn't. I was just watching it, and then by episode three, I was like, "This is cool," but like, yeah, it it also didn't give me anime vibes. It gave me cartoon vibes, like mm-hmm. Renee said. Um, oh, it, it's considered an anime. It's originally dubbed mm-hmm. in Japanese, so. Mm, okay. Yeah. No, it, it definitely did not give me anime vibes, at least for me. But uh, but I mean, I enjoyed it. It was cool, but at the same time, I didn't enjoy it. So it's like. That's why I mixed mixed feelings. It was cool, but I don't think I'm gonna go back and watch it. Dang, I wish you guys would uh, give it more of a chance because it's really it gets really really good. Like it's I really really so good. Um, um, <laughs> it gets really like I said like when it gets violent, it really gets crazy violent. But and there's some there's some really the thing is like I guess yeah, I, I guess I would agree that the pacing is a little bit slower at the beginning because it starts to pick up later on when they start introducing some more of the other characters. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know if you guys remember the uh, first of all, I like the opening. I love the opening when they're all dancing and shit like that. I like I would say the fun. intro was probably my favorite thing too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I really enjoy that a lot. Pretty. And like and like the one of the like like the ending uh scenes you see in the opening is like there's a group of like a bunch of them walking together, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and once that full cast gets together, that's when the show really starts to take off. Okay. The dynamic between everybody there together. Um, <clears throat> especially there, there's the, there's a blonde dude and there's like this big fat, uh, dude with like long hair, black hair. They're my favorite. They're hilarious. They're, they're really mm-hmm. great. Um, so like once the whole cast gets together, that's when the show really starts to take mm-hmm. off. They have a lot more fun with it. It's like, uh, like I said, it's like a heist show cause they, there's, Pretty much what happens is that like the main guy Johnny Bolt, that's his name. Um, he, 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 his, him and his, and his, and his girl. Um, like his girl's like, hey, I don't want you to be doing like villain shit no more. Mm-hmm. He's like, like if we do this one big heist, then we'll quit. That'll be the end of it. Mm-hmm. And that's that's when the story starts to take off. Like they they meet up with some other people and then they, they start to plan out this really big last heist to end all heists type of thing. And then mm-hmm. that's where the show goes from there. But hey, oh well. I mean, hopefully you guys will give it another chance later on. But if not, it's cool. But <laughs> I, I enjoy the shit out of it. So I think it's a really great show. Okay. Well. Yeah. Big Unforged. But if you guys want to check it out, definitely check it out. It is only on Netflix. So there's that. But this week we have Renee. Yes, yes, yes. Giving us yes, a yes. recommendation now. Renee, what you got for us? Okay. Um... So I forgot which season it came out in, but it came out last year and it was on my list and I just hadn't had a chance to like go and watch it. Um, But it's Mm -hmm. still in my queue because I eventually would like to watch it if it's worth it. So Mm -hmm. um, the anime that I'm recommending this week is Mars Red. And for sure, Mm -hmm. for sure, it's on Funimation. I don't know if it's streaming on any other platforms. Um And then just to give a little synopsis, it says, like, as a vampiric um, horde looms, a secret kill squad manned with its own bloodsuckers is spawned to infiltrate the dark and rescue humanity. Sounds like it's action packed. You got some vampires. You got some drama. You know, I like all that. So um, (laughs) I haven't seen it. So, yeah, you guys are going to be the guinea pigs this week. Um, And, yeah, just let me know, you know. Would like to hear your thoughts so well all right then all right so that is a uh, yeah, i'm excited i i don't think i've watched a vampire anime in a very long time so we'll see i'm i'm uh we'll, we'll let you know we'll be the guinea pigs no problem mm-hmm. but with that being said guys this has been episode 34 of the bento box guys make sure to check out all the other podcasts on this platform on youtube geek jar podcast we have like Rafa said at the beginning, the play and pod on Wednesdays. And then sometimes depending on if the news is there panel pals on Fridays, uh, I think this week there probably will be a panel pals, but uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll catch you guys on the next one. And yeah, that's it. All right. Bye everybody. Bye. Guys. Yeah.